Hi, hope y'all are well, and it is Zim time. I, uh, Zim in the first game, I did have some fun with, but I just always felt he was capable of more. For example, his up special, you could drop a bomb below you, but you couldn't angle it. There's no real way to combo off of it. So uh, it was just one way of like, I wish there was more with this, but it's okay. It's a recovery tool. It doesn't have to be that creative, but I just, Zim has a lot of zany gadgets and things. I felt like he could be more creative. What they did with Gur was very interesting, where you could call Gur and then you could press the neutral special button again to get Gur to stop, or you could press a light attack for Gur to jump. That's all very neat, and I'm wondering how they built upon it in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. So, let's take a peek. Hello everyone, my name is Tafar, and today we'll be talking about the notorious mm -hmm. Birkin Invader sent once again to destroy the competition Ooh. of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Aww. Invader Zim. Oh, he's so expressive. This guy with big plans always seems to come up short in oh, his he's a little guy. On behalf of the Urkin Armada. Grr. Zim uses a wider this stage, too. This is the unique layout of the Urkin Armada. Ooh. Oh, he's got some more <laughs> zappy lasers. And other animal Ooh. While he is incredibly small and light for an Urkin invader, if your enemies can never catch you from Aww. behind your minions who do your every bidding, explosive eh. grenades, and a gigantic doom laser. Oh my. What? What? <laughs> okay, I really like the doom laser. That looks like a nice finisher. Information Gur. Gur. Gur can be called out with Zim's side special. And while the button is oh. on, Gur will jet forward. While he's out and active, Gur can be controlled at any time. Oh, so he is. Oh, that's. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so he's like a puppet. What? Oh, my. <laughs> he's out here eating people. Uh, like he did with that pug and Florpus, maybe. Oh, my goodness. As was just mentioned, Pew Pew is Zim's neutral special. Pew Pew. Diagonally pointed laser that Yo. Or while on the ground. Okay. Oh, that nair, the electricity on it. Oh, Zim and Gur running around. Oh my god, Gur is a more active participant. And he's got little pew pews too. When Gur is available, Zim can point his up special. Oh. Charge it for slightly more distance and speed. Okay. Watch out though. If Gur is still active on stage or being silly, you should probably be careful. Without Gur and his rocket boosters, Zim's up special becomes only a very short, very vulnerable hop. Okay, point, interesting. Do a slime dash some so his up special does seem more creative, Last and it is Zim's down incorporating Gur too. Explosion. It's a slow explosion. Whoa! This move places a devastating I remember that. Device into Zim's hands. I think I know the inspiration of that. Ooh, it looks so cool. Explosion will become. When you use the slime version, Whoa. The starts out with about half of its maximum. That is sorry, I just Zim's somehow I I don't know if I dissociated or what, but like Gert, I just had a weird sense of like, oh yeah, I'm here. I'm like <laughs> watching this and <laughs> just like whoa. The Guardian Gnome is Mini Moose. Saw a bit of that in Jenny's. Out, the gnome slides forward and pops out a few I think I was just a bit too in awe <laughs> that I like the had to remember. Course, the more oh the my effects. gosh. Playing keep away with this is perfect. Grenades and lasers. Oh my. Also He's got so many fun, zany things to play with. That. Authority get to your head. With his lightweight and brutally weak recovery when Gur is unavailable, you'll quickly learn what happens when you let yourself get careless. Ooh. Nonetheless, Zim is still, in fact, a mighty Urkin invader who has incredibly powerful tools with Aww. which to plot your victory. So with the right plan and proper execution, nothing can stand in your way. Yeah. Oh my. Are you worthy of joining the ranks of the Urkin elite? Find out what <laughs> in all -star that Brawl had to be the super. Very soon. Of course. Let us know who you're most excited to play. And as <sighs> always, thank you for watching. Another fantastic job. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, the music in this. I just re-listened to make sure I got all the information. Wow, the gnome is the down charge. A longer view. Oh my gosh. This is perfect. <laughs> perfect evolution of the character. It's exactly... You nailed it again. <laughs> They're always doing such a good job. This shot is so cute. Oh, he's... Uh, his express... I... Okay, let me get my thoughts in order. Um, already, Zim in the first game was, like, the best Zim, in my opinion, had ever looked in 3D. And then this game... <laughs> he's perfect! Like, I 
can't can Zim look better than that in 3D? Zim looks perfect. And this shot is so cute too. The people, the animals, animal people. Very, very cute. Um <laughs> He's got all these gadgets and he can use them in such creative ways and his up special machine. Dude, the ex explosion. Oh my gosh, and the PM Ivy Source solar beam. This, this is this is from the episode when Zim became more of a germaphobe. Cause the goggles let him see germs and they were very yucky. Oh, this <laughs> These are the charge attacks, oh my gosh. And he's got this Urken taser, oh my goodness. Gur is such an active participant. Gur is so cute. I'm glad that Gur is part of Zim's moveset and they get to do silly team stuff together. I was wondering because Zim already played with Gur in the first game and we saw Jimmy with Goddard. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you can do that with Goddard. Um, what can they do with Zim? Just <laughs> I was wondering how much further they might take it. And wow, this is so cool too, because I kind of see Zim and Jimmy as rivals, probably because of Nicktoon's freeze frame frenzy, which I never even personally played, but just knowing the story there and that um, Jimmy and Zim have a cool handshake at the end and everything. Ugh, they come to some mutual respect, even though they are very much opposed. But yeah, wow, Gurr is also a puppet. But whereas Jimmy and Goddard take turns of playing, you, you fully switch if you're playing Jimmy or if you're playing Goddard, uh, Zim and Gurr can do things at the same time, pew pews at the same time. And it doesn't look obnoxious. Zim is angled down, so it's not straight ahead, so it's so strong. And the knockback looks very limited. Oh my gosh, you can definitely use that. Still, That's still such a fun tool. Competitively, yes, you're building damage. And just thinking of clips, I'm like, okay, the pew pews don't like, oh my god, his expression is so cute. The pew pews don't hit people away very far, but they do have some knockback. So from far away, I am making sure the opponent is being hit, isn't running away, isn't like, doing a counter-attack. <laughs> just knocking that bomb behind him and he's so happy about it. Oh, he's so expressive and cute. He's perfect. And then that little knockback from far away can lead them into getting hit by something else like Gur or an explosion. <laughs> oh, his freaky little spider legs. That's so cool that that's how he like gets around and everything. Ugh, Gur is so silly. Gur has a moveset. Gur has a light attack, a strong attack, can grab you. The grab being very reminiscent of when in Florpus. I mean, at least reminds me of this in Florpus when he gets excited and uh, eats a pug and blasts it out of the top of his head. Oh, and his disguise, oh my, he looks great. I mean, I'm not trying to be hyperbolic here, but to me, this is perfect. I don't know how you do better than this. This explosion is a really cool interpretation of a very slow explosion that Zim has to handle very carefully and doesn't in the episode, Walk for Your Lives. Explosion, what a cool move. Okay, so, this is a very fun move, but in exchange for being as fun as it is, you can't spam it. <laughs> I mean, like, you gotta, it's based on how much you charge it, which I hope doesn't encourage Zim players to run away and try to charge it too much. That just doesn't seem worth it anyway, but I guess we'll have to see. Ugh, uh, oh my gosh, does he use the little plunger? Is, he... <gasps> is that the, is that what I think it is? Is that the Plunger of Doom? Like, it seems to be a plunger, maybe not specifically the Plunger of Doom, because the Plunger of Doom is like a specific design and then we gotta get permission from other people, blah, 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 but whatever, he uses a plunger and that reminds me of when he used the Plunger of Doom in Globs of Doom. But yeah, this move uh, <laughs> seems really fun just in general. I think you're probably gonna get it more often in free-for-alls if you catch people, you know, losing track of you a bit. But in competitive, you know, maybe if you just get rid of someone, you have a little time as they're respawning to charge this up. But it probably shouldn't be too prevalent or annoying in competitive play. But I don't know, I guess we'll see. Either way, it's a very fun gadget to play with. Mini Moose, ah, uh, and it, okay, so if you don't charge it, Mini Moose goes away. If you do charge it, Mini Moose sticks around a bit and zaps people below, like how we saw in the Jenny trailer. Wow, 
That's fun. Mmm, using the plunger here too for what seems to be an uplight. Nice. Very cute to have Dag here in the astronaut outfit for the spacey stage, but also because Dag and Zim share a voice actor, Richard Horvitz, who I was also, my buddy just wanted to show me some has been hotel, no, hell of a boss, sorry, hell of a boss yesterday. <laughs> and uh, Richard Horvitz also voices Moxie there, I believe. Wow, oh my gosh, how does he have this? Why do you <laughs> just give him PM Ivy Sword? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Mm. This is another perfect evolution, in my opinion. This is so cool. You got the gnome. You do <laughs> the gnome zaps into mini moose stuff. Into who knows? Gur, pew pew. Just all sorts of sticks blow. <laughs> you get it. And then into the PM solar beam. Oh my gosh. PM Ivy Sword solar beam. What is it? Oh, the uh, hype. Very good. Very cool. Gur grab. Oh my goodness. You could just call Gur back. Do you like that? Wow, that's good. What is him saying here? Oh, Doom. Of course he says Doom. He's saying Doom all the time. <laughs> Zim and Gur. Zim and Gur look very fun. Oh my god, they look so good. Right, and this super is inspired by a beautiful shot from Enter the Florpus, where Minimus is used to transfer the entire Earth somewhere else in the universe. So it's not. I know it looks destroyed. Um. It's fine, they just got transferred. Uh, I'm so glad to see you can put Gur where you want, like relatively quickly. And he's a little guy, he's got the little hitboxes. Maybe that's not too annoying. You can dodge him or hit him away. But oh my gosh, you can really play a Zim and Gur together and do such wacky stuff. The potential is like, wow, there's a lot of potential. Seems like you can do a lot of different things. <laughs> Zim is such a fun, unique character. Little smile, he's so cheeky. So glad to be throwing these bombs around. Oops, I'm Zim, I'm the best. I gotta see this guy in a tournament. I mean, <laughs> I gotta see him in a tournament, oh my goodness. I really hope we see Zim in tournaments. You don't see Zim too much these days because he got nerfed after there was a bit of a while where his light neutral air was really good. And it's kind of okay because Zim in the first game is not super varied. Like he's probably gonna put Gur and a gnome on the ledge and someone's gonna have to try to get around it. But you know, he's not bad, but this evolution is really, really nice. I really, really like what they're doing with Zim. He had a pretty straightforward game plan in the first game and I'm glad that there's just so much more he can do. He looks a lot more creative and dynamic and cute. He makes so many cute little faces. Oh, Zim. Oh, that move is so hype. And I get the deal. It's like absolute fair deal that that hype move, you can't just shoot that straight ahead. That's too good. But diagonal, you gotta really set that up. That's situational. You gotta scheme. You gotta scheme like Zim. You can charge it. You can throw it in different directions. Oh my, there's so, then you can do so much stuff with that. That's so good. You carry the expl explosion. I'm gonna get better at saying this. You carry the explosion like an item. You can throw it down. You can throw it wherever. What if I like throw it above me and then someone's like, you know, getting hit and then I set up like mini moose and all this stuff. I don't know. Oh man. <laughs> There's a lot you can do. Oh, the way oh, he's holding his little face as he shoots the PM Ivy Source Solar Beam. <laughs> You can run around as both of them at the same time. You can do, you can sit in shield and have Gerd do stuff. You can save yourself from grabs. Oh my God, you're playing as two characters at the same time. Uh, Zim, uh, Zim and Gur, wow, fantastic. He ate him. Gur ate Squidward. And then during this, I can like set up a mini moose, I guess. Oh my, uh, you can set up whatever. Zim looks incredibly fun. I, I do like Zim a lot. Oh man. Do I main him? <laughs> Do I main Zim now? I'm a bit nervous with his light weight. He would die really early in the first game, but I don't know. I'm very happy, but I can't imagine like, I mean, there's nothing like, oh, he doesn't have this. Like, I don't have, any, uh, this is all fantastic. And he looks as good as I think he can. I got no notes, like f phenomenal job. I guess if anything, I did always find Gurr's idol to be kind of lifeless, just standing around, but he does often do that in the show. That's like what he does. But still, I think it could be cute if when he's idling, he's just sort of smiling and swaying around, but that's such a nitpick. That's not a big deal. <laughs> 
<laughs> that move. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks so cool. It, and it's fair, right? You will never have. It. You can mess with people with the gnome and the mini moose and Gur, but you're never gonna get enough time to like set that up on the ledge, right? Oh, I guess unless you slime enhance it. Ooh, maybe. Whoa. And they went ahead and put this Zim in the game with <laughs> the universal mechanic of all the slime stuff. So, with slime canceling, you could just like, cancel anything into anything else. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. He's so happy to just be spinning around with tasers. Yeah, he doesn't care. Bye. Whatever. Filthy human. Oh. And then this thing. Whatever. Don't care. Bye. Whatever that is. Uh-uh. Out of here. Fantastic work with Zim. I think he looks so dynamic and creative and adorable and fun. He doesn't have a bad recovery. You can be quite creative with it, which is interesting. That's not a weakness I have to worry about, I guess, but... I am a little nervous about how light he is and how little knockback some of his moves do, but like, I'm sure it's fine. You gotta balance him somehow, otherwise it could be really annoying. Zim looks incredible, but just thinking if I personally want to main him, I think I want to play him really often, but um, I just don't know. I, I also really want to go in, and they mention here, he's light, but it doesn't matter if they can ever catch you and you're hiding behind your minions and everything, which is fantastic, but if you're like me, I know I personally want to go in a lot too, which is why maybe a character more like Gerald, where I can put out some hitboxes that I can try to combo off of, like his basketball and stuff, but I can also zoom in with a skateboard or something. I can lay out a frisbee, but then I can also charge in with that bike. So, I don't know, I, I'll have to try. Maybe I will end up being a Zim main. <laughs> I don't know, we all have to try, we all have to see. I'll have to try him out, and we do not have to wait very long at all to try these characters out because the game is releasing in less than a week, and it looks like Korra is going to be our last spotlight. I'm very hyped for Korra too, but for now, I hope you'll have a lovely day, and I will see y'all next time. Wish you well, Bye bye